Hey, my name is James Nicholson, and I want to show you how you can create a playlist on YouTube. Now, there's a few reasons you might want to do this. Maybe you enjoy watching lots of videos online and you want to create a list of the videos that you really enjoy. So maybe you can go back to them and watch them later. Or maybe you want to create a list of videos that you enjoy that maybe others might want to watch and you can share with friends or family or other people online, right? That's another option. Or alternatively, you're a business owner. And so maybe you're a business owner or a content producer or a gamer and you want to organize your YouTube channel so the content is more organized. And so I'll give you an example of that. I work as a business mentor and I work with all types of business and I work lots of people in the health and wellness industry. And and one of my clients has uh, various things that they help people with, one being diabetes and one being psoriasis. And so they make lots of videos on how to improve your diabetes and how to improve your psoriasis and stop itching and stuff like that, right? Now, they're totally different types of videos and someone that's interested in diabetes doesn't want to watch their psoriasis videos. And so what they do is they create a playlist for each category of video and that allows them to organize the video. So if someone's got diabetes, they can watch all the playlist on diabetic videos and they can watch all the psoriasis videos if that's what they're interested in. Now, before we jump into this, uh, this is gonna be really useful for you. And I wanna make sure that you really, really get the full value from this and I wanna show you lots of other stuff on YouTube. So I've got a ton of videos on marketing and sales and growing a YouTube channel. So while you're here, do me a favor, smash the like button on the video. That helps me greatly with the YouTube algorithm. It shows YouTube that you found this video useful uh, and also subscribe to this channel. So quickly subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification. That will uh, make sure that you're aware of any new videos as and when we make them. And that's gonna be a good investment of your time. So look, this is my channel, um, and at the moment we've got 800 subscribers, and we've got some playlists in here, right? And so these are different playlists uh, that we've got on our channel. Also, we show the playlists on our home of our channel here. And so look, these are things like testimonials that I've got with clients here that we show in there, which is pretty useful. These are like marketing tips. These are what you guys wanna check out, right? Uh, business advice, you wanna check out those as well. And so this just makes our channel more organized. Uh, but remember, this isn't just for organizing a channel, it's if you wanna keep a hold of stuff as well. So how do we make these playlists uh, and where do we go? Well, on the top right, on YouTube, if you have a look up here, you want to go when you're logged into your YouTube channel uh, or your YouTube account to YouTube Studio, right? Everyone's got that up here. And in YouTube Studio, this is the back end where you can manage all your videos and get everything organized. And where you want to look is on the left hand side over here playlists. So if we click on there, and then you can see a list now of, of playlists that I've got on my channel, right? And so I've got these business tips, uh, business advice videos. This is a playlist and I've put 110 of my videos in here, right? I've got marketing strategies and I put 36 in here. It just makes it a bit more organized. These are some videos that I made on business funding. So they're different to marketing. They're teaching people how to get loans, particularly something called a bounce back loan, which I did a lot of videos on. And I, I just put them all together and there's 50 videos in there, right? Uh, and it just makes it easy for people to find and make it easy for you to manage your channel so when you're on this playlist tab on the left you want to look at the top right up here it will say new playlist click it click on that and what you want to do is you want to title your playlist something that's easy for users that find this to understand what's in there but also consider what you might get someone to search for right so uh, if you were a yoga instructor you might have yoga fitness videos right and you might title it yoga fitness videos right and then that also has a chance of showing up in the search engines maybe on google or, or youtube and you might get some people that find it which is pretty good right uh, and so think of the, the title there now you've got visibility public means that anyone that comes to your channel uh, can find it and that's what most of you will pick. Private might mean that maybe you've got some private content that's personal, right? And so I have that. I have uh, videos of my baby and my family and, and stuff like that that I wanna back up on YouTube, 
but I don't want everyone else seeing it. It's our content, it's our private family stuff, and so we would put that in a private playlist and also make the video private so no one can find it online. It's just for us. Now, unlisted might be stuff that maybe, if you're a business, that's just for your customers uh, or maybe people that have bought your product or service and you don't want everyone just finding it on YouTube right uh, and so it could be that maybe someone enrolls with your business and and you want them to to be able to get the videos and then you could email them the link or whatsapp them the link or facebook message whatever right um i'm sure that makes sense right so public is where most of you are going to put this so let's go public right we're going to click create and that will now create a playlist but not much is happening here at the moment right uh, and so what we can do is edit this now if we edit the playlist and what we want to consider doing is filling in this description. Now, this gives people an idea on what the playlist is about and why they should watch it. And so if it's just your own personal videos you want to store, you might not bother with that. But if it's business, then you might want to fill that in and that will help it rank in Google and YouTube and other places as well, right? And this is like an SEO strategy. And so you want to make it compelling to watch the playlist. And so if it's a public one and it's business, you might want to put that in. So you might want to put, uh, check out all these awesome yoga fitness videos I've made. If you want to know more, please get, oh, please get in contact. Right, and then that's just encouraging people to go in there. You could put a phone number in there, whatever. Right, and uh, let's save that. Right, and you can put up to 5,000 words in here. Now, we need some videos in here. Right, we, we need some videos in here because not much is going on. So, what we're going to do is we're going to click on these little dots over here and we're going to put add videos. And so, how we can do that, we can search like our like MBA. So, let's have a look. So, put MBA, and I could just put these videos in, right? So if it wasn't my stuff, um, and I wanted to just search for stuff, uh, I could just select that MBA video, and that's gonna add it to the playlist up here, right? Uh, but let's add another one in. Let's add another one in. So if we, we wanted to go here, uh, and, and let's just put yoga, right? Let's just assume we're a yoga person, a yogi, uh, and so we'll click there, and we can add that video in here, right? They're clearly not a very good playlist because they're they're unrelated, right? But you get what I mean. You can add more videos doing that. Now, another way you might do it is you might know the specific video, right? This is a, a video that I found on YouTube here. And I can take this web address up here, copy that, and then I can put it in via URL. So paste URL. There we go. It's the NBA slam dunk contest. Uh, and we can click that one there, right? And that will add that. To our playlist so we're building it out now we've got three videos in there now maybe you've made videos on your own channel right maybe you've got your own channel these are my channels videos right I've got tons of them hundreds of them you should you should be checking them out if you haven't done already while you're watching this video make sure you hit the like button and subscribe you can see that I've got a ton of content on there. I've got nothing for sale, loads of value on marketing and growing channels and Instagram and Facebook and business growth and all sorts of stuff. So do make sure you like this channel, guys, while you're here. Um, but if you wanted to, to, to put your own videos from your own channel, this is how you do it, right? You go your YouTube videos and you click there and you click add the videos and then it adds them into your playlist, right? So that's really important. Um, now, what else can we do? We can remove them or we can move them up, right? So we'll move that one to the top. Uh, if we wanted to move that up, if we want to move this one, uh, we can move it to the bottom, right? We can move these videos around uh, and that's really useful, really useful there. Um, and, ah, there we go. Yes, the, we can do that as well here. Look, if we just want to drag it, we want that one bottom. Ah, no, actually I want that one bottom. All right, so we grab these little lines and we can drag those around which is really cool. So that's how you're creating a playlist. I've got some more ways uh, that you can do this as well. But let's have a look. What else have we got on here, right? We can make it shuffle, so it will just play them in any order. Um, you've got that on like uh, music, right? You're probably used to that, and it will just pick them. If, if you don't click shuffle, which I probably wouldn't pick, it will just play them this one, then this one, then this one, then this one, right? And if you want to share it, right? Maybe you want to share this playlist you've made. You could share it on your Facebook, on your Twitter, whatever, right? Let's share it on Twitter. 
And this will log into our Twitter and say, look, yoga fitness video playlist. And then it, that's going to share that there, which is really cool. So uh, that's an option to do that, which is pretty cool. Uh, and there's lots of other places that it shares them if you choose. Uh, let's see what else we've got in here. Um, you could collaborate with other people. You could delete the playlist if you don't want it as well. Right. So that's the main way that you're going to make um, a, a playlist. Right. But let's show you um, maybe how else you can put videos in playlists and stuff like that. Right. And that's when you upload a new video. Right. So maybe you're uploading a new video. And so you could do this from your phone or you could do it from your desktop. Right. So I'm going to do this from my computer and hopefully we can find a, a video. Right. Here's one. Let's go. So I'm going to upload this video here cool and so it's uploaded the video obviously you're filling all these details the name and, and stuff like that and then here's how you can add a video as you're uploading it to a playlist right so you can click here the drop down and there's that playlist that I made already right so I can put it in the yoga fitness video or here's another way you can make a playlist notice at the bottom here if you've forgotten to set up the playlist and you're just uploading the video already and you're like, oh, I want to make a playlist, but it doesn't exist, then you just click create new playlist, guys. Uh, and this is really handy. So you can create the new playlist, test playlist. Let's call it that. Oh, it's a bit slow loading. Oh, we missed the T. And that will create it, right? And that's going to go into that playlist, which is awesome. Create. Done. And there we go, right? That's another way that we can do this, right? It's another way that we can create playlists on YouTube, right? And so that video was all you needed to know on exactly how to create a playlist on YouTube. Now, please, 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 before you go, very quickly, a couple of things I want to share with you. Make sure you smash the like button. Comment below. Let me know you found that useful. That will help other people see this video. Subscribe to my channel. And one last thing before you go, I want to give you a free gift right? And so I've written a new book. It's called Expert Mastery. And so around the video here somewhere in the description is going to be a link where you can grab a free copy of my brand new book, Expert Mastery. Now, this will help anyone that's looking to grow an online marketing platform for a business, gaming, whatever it is that you want to do to actually monetize it right once you've got views how do you get leads from the internet and how do you turn them into people that buy your products and services this has taken me 17 years to figure this stuff out and i'm giving it to you for free in my new book expert mastery so in the description is a link go and click on the link and grab your free copy of expert mastery today now i'm paying for the book you need to pay for the shipping that's it right it's a couple of pounds if that uh, and that will get to you in the next few days. It's a real book, not an ebook, because I believe that holding a real book means that you're actually going to consume it and take in that information and make some results from that. Uh, so do go and grab that. Uh, do like this channel, subscribe. It's been great serving you. I hope you found this useful. I'm James Nicholson. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye for now.